All right, welcome to another edition of Swim Easy Speed. This is the Magnolia Masters Weekend Review. Uh, so this Monday we did uh, kind of a longer kick set uh, as the lead up and then went into some 125s where um, we alternated uh, between pulling and swimming. And, you know, that's always good. It gives you a good kind of feel for what it's like to pull and what's, what's, what it's like to swim right after. And you can see how it impacts your stroke. Um, and then forces you to kind of try to bring that back end up a little bit, engage the core a little bit more. Uh, let's see, Tuesday we did uh, some hold pace 75s. Um, we also did some work with the, the brick and um, drag socks. We did a little bit of kicking again. Um, and, uh, yeah, no, it was a good set. It was a long set. So, you know, we're at that kind of time of year where we're building up a lot of uh, – just repeats and distance and uh, trying to load it up so we have a little bit of something to kind of um, come down off of before we taper. And then we had some visitors that were trying out for the team today. And, uh, yeah, I got to tell you, there would be triathletes that would kill for that kick and body position in the water. So, yeah, they made the team if they want to come back. Um, yeah, so here was the... Uh, um, we did some brick and drag socks work, so it was alternating kick with the brick, kick with drag socks, and then went into some 200 to pull. You know, with that, you can do with or without paddles. Um, I typically prefer for most triathletes without paddles just because you really want to work on that feel for the water. Um, and paddles can tend to screw that up. Uh, here was the brick and mitts. Um, just as a short lead up and then it was actually part of the main set and then uh, right into hold pace 100s and this was a lot of hundreds going pretty fast. We had another uh, pro join us. Uh, this was uh, uh, Maya Stage Nielsen so she was uh, she just got into town and has been swimming with us a little bit and uh, yeah it's always nice when the pros come in and um, you know they add a little bit more intensity to the workouts and everyone seems to, to get a get a thrill out of it so it's it's always a lot of fun. Um, Saturday, we did, uh, a set of, it was a, the, for the faster lanes, it was about 3,000 yards, but it was 25s, 50s, and 75s, all at hold pace and kind of varying intensities. So I, I really tried to load up the front end of the, um, of the set with the 25s. And, you know, so for some of them, you know, they were pacing the 25s as fast as kind of 52, 54, 100, something like that. Um, for about 500 and then uh, we went into um, some 50s and then by the time we got to the 75s which was half of the set um, yeah it was uh, you know it put them where they needed to be to, to really kind of drive an adaptation um, yeah so that was kind of the week we got in a lot more yardage um, you know the intensity is going up but it's all good yeah, it's been a lot. I've been doing a lot of lessons, so I always like to uh, treat myself at the end of the week or in the middle of the week. There's a really good coffee shop right by the pool, so if you guys are in town, uh, it's Conduit Coffee.